Do your job. Marcos Viegas for FightUpTV.com here in Fullerton, California with Eric Paulson, the head of CSW, who happens to be his birthday today. Happy birthday, Coach Eric. Thank you. 26. <laughs> so, Eric, uh, two weeks ago, Josh Barnett beat Brett Rogers via side choke in the second round to move on to the semifinal of the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix. Looking back at the fight, did everything go according to plan? Uh, did you like the way Josh performed in that fight against Brett? Josh did everything that I told him to. The whole game plan was the same game plan that we implemented against Mark Hunt. Our whole objective was not to get hit and then to take him down. Josh did get a left hook, kind of a slappy hook. Uh, he got to the control in the first round and he was on him. And Brett's full of piss and vinegar and strong and was trying to buck him off, buck him off. So I said, control him, take his win, just coast, fine, no problem. Just keep your weight on him, keep, keep crushing him, crushing him. Round two, he came out and he could see Brett was low and was planning on more than anything stuffing the shot. So what he did is uh, Josh goes, heck with that. So that's why he cracked him. He faked the right and then hit him with the left hook. Uh, once he hit him with the left hook, uh, I said, don't be surprised if Brett doesn't try to take you down out of desperation. And what happens? Brett went for a body lock. And then Josh just twisted and reversed him, mounted him, tried to give him the mother's milk, the uh, double chest, the moob, double moob smother, uh, mother's milk, we call smother's milk. If you hold it long enough, it's called the DEA. Uh, uh, but right now, uh, what happened is uh, he got there and stayed on him and stayed on him, and then all of a sudden he just crossed his arm and jumped over dismount. As he dismounted, he, he was already tapping. So, yeah, it was a great win. Were you surprised at all that Brett, given when on the ground, lasted up to the second round with Josh? No, uh, I wasn't at all. Actually, I I thought that uh, you could tell his his uh, sail was weakening and weakening. And when Josh kept his weight on him, you could see well, Josh was getting tired too. That wasn't probably the best shape of Josh that you've ever seen. But uh, with the fight that we had against us, we knew that uh, he was in substantial shape. Now, when Josh put on the move, it seemed that he didn't really fully apply the move all the way, me seeing it here, uh, when you've done it, you know, teaching class. Did you notice that uh, at all uh, as well when Josh applied the, the side choke to uh, Brett? Yeah, he actually didn't get to dismount because Brett was already panicked. He was already getting choked from the mount. And a lot of times when you get the choke from the mount, it's already on. So by the time you're dismounting, boom. And he was panicked and he doesn't know how to fight through a choke. Now Josh moves on to the semifinal. He's going to be facing Sergey Karatanov. Looking at uh, that style of fight, you know, and making a game plan. You know, what do you want Josh to go ahead and kind of work with him, uh, preparing for this bout whenever it, it materializes? Conditioning is number one. Second thing is get his boxing strong so he doesn't get hit. That he can take a hit, and to get this guy down, get on top. So his takedowns have to be ex ex uh, extraordinary against a striker. His whole thing is getting that guy. Hitting them, tying them up, and getting that takedown. And then getting top control and finishing them. What do you think about Alistair Overeem's performance against Wardoom that same night? He looked sluggish, and I thought that, um, I think he was, Verdum was actually beating him to the punch. Do you feel that Silva now is coming in as maybe the favorite to meet Josh, potentially, in the final? He looks great right now. Uh, his, his fight against Fedor, he made leaps and bounds. Uh, and if uh, if he could get if Alistair looks the same way against Verdum as he does against him, I don't think uh, he'll fare quite as well. So I think Silva has a really good chance of winning against Alistair. Although Alistair is a tough guy, unless he changes his game. And ultimately, uh, you know, I would imagine that Josh wants to challenge himself against whoever is the UFC champion once this tournament's over, if he's able to win the tournament. Correct. This is another chance for him uh, after he lost that chance to fight Fedor. This is his second chance, so this is a great deal. He has a great opportunity to win this tournament. If you ask me and a lot of people around, they'll all say the same thing. Josh has the ability to win this whole tournament. Well, Eric, happy birthday once more, and thank you for your time.